UNEP and was interned to UNEP's Special Advisor and Focal Point for Sustainable Development Goals. Arjun graduated from Drexel University with a BS in Biological Sciences and most recently with a Master of Environmental Studies from the University of Pennsylvania, where he majored in Environmental Policy. In April 2013, he was awarded University of Pennsylvania's Institute for Environmental Studies Award for Excellence in Environmental Studies. Arjun. And good afternoon. Um, I want to thank CEQ and Jerry for inviting me as a representative of Hindu American Save Our Communities here today. I feel privileged to be a part of this distinguished panel of leaders, uh, Reverend Bingham, Reverend <coughs> Scott, Dr. Baltimore, and Mr. Assad. Our Hindu faith and tradition complements President Obama's vision and action plan. Science helps us discover truth and a foundational tenet of Hinduism, which is seek out the fundamental truth. Our HASC board member and scholar, Dr. Veit Chaudhary, explains the truth from our scripture, the Isha Upanishad. The Almighty is omnipresent in the universe, including planet Earth, in the oceans, rivers, forests, mountains. Take only what you need from the bounties of planet Earth. Sacrifice greed that everyone's needs are met. Do not plunder, do not hoard. Whose property is it after all? It all belongs to God. At the Parliament of World Religions 2009 meeting, Hindu spiritual leaders highlighted how our scriptures guide us to act on climate change, and they signed the Hindu Declaration on Climate Change. They said, we can and should take the lead in an earth-friendly living, <coughs> personal frugality, um, lower power consumption, alternative energy, sustainable food production, and vegetarianism, as well as in evolving technologies that uh, positively address our shared plight." End of quote. Across the nation, we see Hindu-American communities imbibing and acting on their dharmic values. And we are in various stages of addressing the impact of climate change in our temples, on college campuses, and in our homes. Many examples abound, and I'll share a few. We at HASC have generated awareness by creating outreach material and are developing educational programs to help temples and our community implement energy efficiency in small and large ways. Our project director, Dr. Pankaj Jain, at the University of North Texas, and I have developed briefs that highlight environmental initiatives from temples in India and the United States. These briefs include the significant afforestation and solar cooking efforts, as well as wind energy renewable efforts uh, led by one of the most revered Hindu temples in the world, the Tirupati Temple in India. We also shared EPA Energy Star Congregation case studies, which Jerry highlighted a bit earlier. Though these have been helpful to temples, no Hindu or Jain temple has been certified Energy Star. Jerry and I are in the final stages of producing a joint HASC and Energy Star document and flyer. This will be focused on energy efficiency from a Hindu faith perspective and will help temples understand the tools that the federal government provides. Jerry, thank you for your extraordinary support to us. Um, following, following the tenets of our dharma and religious teachings, we find nationally many faith organizations and temples are working on energy and environmental initiatives and are at different stages of their implementation. The Baps Temple in uh, Chino Hills, California generates 597 kilowatts of uh, clean energy annual, annually by their state-of-the-art solar panel system. I also recently learned about four temples in Maryland who are working with ESI and are in their early stages in taking action to transition to energy efficiency. Their actions would result in approximately 35% lower electri electricity consumption, 35% lower associated carbon dioxide emission reduction, and 15% greenhouse gas uh, reduction from a switch to natural gas from diesel-powered backup systems. Temples such as the Fremont Hindu Temple in California, uh, the Sai Sharan in Florida, and the Siva Vishnu Temple in uh, Maryland have transitioned to eco-friendly products that they use in their temples as well as waste management. One of our youth green team partners at the Sanatan Temple in Parsippany, New Jersey, a group of seventh graders, are working to reduce styrofoam usage with biodegradable, biodegradable products. Starting from April 2014, the Sathana Coalition will help a large portion of Jamaica Bay in New York every month with volunteers from local temples to clean the beaches. A food and agriculture organization, FAO, report found that farms breeding chickens, pigs, and cows for meat and dairy products produce 14.5% global greenhouse gas emissions. 
I can say with certainty that all Hindu and Jain temples promote a vegetarian, cloud-based diet. <laughs> <laughs> and we're working with our partners at the Humane Society to promote ahimsa, non-violence by preventing animal cruelty and promoting needless Monday. Uh, we have also developed an, an educational program with Subseva, or festivals of science, that embed environment awareness, which we call eco-dharmic consciousness, in all our major religious festivities, and are partnering with college administrations and Hindu chaplains. Princeton University, just last week, organized an educational event to celebrate Hindu Environment Week, and the Bhumi Project of Oxford University is actively engaged in um, many parts of the world. I would like to end by sharing a success story with you this afternoon. Because of our director, Dr. Jain's recommendations, the Dallas Fort Worth Temple, the largest Hindu temple in the North Texas area, was able to save $23,000 in savings a year with its switch to energy efficient equipment. This compared to 90, uh, 91,200 per year, which they had accrued, which they would spend on energy. Changing on energy saving uh, light fixtures and uh, replacing all HVAC units with the help of a matching grant is helping them achieve their projected return on investment in less than four years. Um, another uh, team member, Joe Otterbein, a student at the University of North Texas, has also helped initiate energy efficiency efforts at Jain temples in the region. We at HASC are now working towards preparing a comprehensive greening temple guide to share with Hindu and Jain temples, and I can make a firm commitment to you, Jerry, and to all of you, to include the element of the President's action plan to share with temples. I have learned so much from all of you, as well as previous speakers, on, uh, in your presentations today, and I will work to reflect your lessons in our future world. Thank you.